Hello grade 9 students, so we're back again and for today we will continue answering your learning task for week 8. Yan, malapit na tayong matapos, week 8 na, last week na natin for the third quarter. And that's a learning task number 2 na tayo. We're going to solve the triangles or the problem using the Pythagorean theorem. So for the first question, this is our figure. If dy is 16, dw is 36, what is Segment DH. DY natin is 16. And then yung DW, so yung measurement dito, simula rito sa D hanggang W is 36. And ang question, what is the measurement of segment DH? Para makuha natin yung answer natin dito, we have the square root of DY times DW. So DY natin is 16, then DW is 36. Multiply lang natin, 16 times 36 is 576. Then get the square root of 576, our answer is 24. So meaning to say, our segment DH is 24. So it's our second problem. If HW is 17, DW is 15, what is DH? So nasa na HW natin? Ayan, HW natin, yung side na ito is 17. Yung DW naman natin is 15. At kukuni natin yung DH. So pwedeng pwede natin itong gamitan ng Pythagorean theorem. We're in to get the measurement of segment HD, we will just get the square root of the square of the difference of these two sides given. So, i-square lang natin yung HW, then we then i-minus natin sa square ng DW. So, ang HW natin is 17, so squared mo lang, minus yung DW, 15, then squared lang natin. 17 squared is 289, then 15 squared is 225. 289 minus 225, the answer is 64. Then get the square root of 64, the answer is 8. So ang measurement, itong dh natin, given, given the two values, is 8. Number 3, if dy is 12, dh is 35, what, what is hy? So, dy is 12, and then yung dh naman, or yung altitude natin here is 35. Ang question is yung hy. So, pwede natin gamitin ulit ang Pythagorean Theorem. We're in yung measurement nitong hypotenuse natin, hypotenuse ng triangle hdy, which is hy. To get that, we need to get the square root of the sum of the squares of the two sides. So, we have dh squared. So, i-square mo lang itong dh. Then, square mo itong dy. Then, i-add mo. Then, get the square root. So, ang dh natin is 35. So, 35 squared plus yung 12 na dy, 12 squared. So, 35 squared or 35 times 35 is 1,225. Then, 12 squared is 144. I-add mo lang yung dalawang yan. The answer is 1,369. Then get the square root of 1,369. Our answer is 37. So ang HY natin o yung hypotenuse ng triangle HDY is 37. Okay, how about number 4? If HW is 12, HY is 16, what is WY? So HW, so this is the side of HW, 12. HY is 16. So, this is the other one. And, ang tinatanong is yung measurement ng WY, yung kabuoang WY. So, ito yung hypotenuse ng triangle YHW. So, para makuha yung hypotenuse, edi gamitin na lang natin yung Pythagorean theorem. So, we're in. We'll square these two measurements, then add them, then get the square root. So, ang HY is 16. Then, square natin. Then, yung HW is 12 squared din natin. 16 squared is 256. And 12 squared or 12 times 12 is 144. Then, i-add natin. The answer is 400. Then, get the square root of 400. The answer is 20. So, ang measurement itong segment WY is 20 applying the Pythagorean theorem. Next, number 5. If HW is 20, HY is 21, what is WY? So, HW natin naman dito ay 20. Ang HY is 21. So, ano ang sukat ng WY? So, ganun pa rin. Pythagorean pa rin. We're in. Kukunin natin yung square nitong dalawang measurement. Then, i-add natin. Then, get the square root. 
So we have wy is equal to hy squared plus hw squared. So hy natin is 21, the square natin, then yung 20 squared natin. 21 squared is 441 plus 20 squared, 400. 441 plus 400, the answer is 841. Then get the square root, the answer is 29. Therefore, wy is equivalent to 29. And that's it. Sa nakita ninyo, na apply natin yung Pythagorean Theorem sa pagsusolve ng mga measurement ng ating right triangle. Ang Pythagorean Theorem ay po pwede lamang kung ang ating triangle ay right triangle or merong right angles. And that's it. I hope na makatulong ang video ko para mas maintindihan mo ang lessons mo sa mathematics. Kung may mga questions ka pa regarding dito, Pwede mong ilagay sa ating comment section at sasagutin niyan sa inyo ni Teacher V. At huwag na huwag niyo kalimutan na i-click ang like button, i-share din to sa mga kaklase at kaibigan niyo para matuto din sila sa mathematics. Follow me on my Facebook page, VTeach Channel. See you again and goodbye! Yes.